The Integrated Pest Management or IPM approach in crop protection involves prevention, monitoring and intervention. Monitoring is a very important activity to detect, prevent and manage problems in the orchard. Pest monitoring, commonly known as scouting in macadamia orchards, involves the inspection of random data trees and, in many cases, inspection of different observation points on the trees in a systematic way. It's suggested to keep accurate records and, where possible, use an electronic device that can refer to the geographic point location of each observation to identify insect pest hotspots or sensitive areas and entry or migration patterns. A scouting routine is suggested, where a scout would walk through the macadamia orchard or a group of macadamia plantings grouped together in operational clusters of similar planting age groups, cultivar sensitivity, soil type or other similarities. Each developmental stage of the macadamia can be associated with different problem-causing targets. Observations are done repeatedly on each data tree according to a set procedure. Observation points should be located randomly in the trees to get a representative observation covering the warmer and cooler sides of the trees as well as the insides of the trees. The observation points are one meter cubed in size where there is good visibility with as many branches included as possible. An understanding and background knowledge of the damage-causing targets are important so that different stages and symptoms of the targets can be identified. Scouting should also be implemented to give a measure of effectiveness of pest control actions. A well-trained scout with good eyesight must be selected for this purpose. Equipment required includes a clipboard with data capturing sheets or a working electronic device, 10x magnifying glass, a field guide with pictures and names of the major and minor pests, pest symptoms and specific beneficials to be scouted a knife and board to cut nuts open, sampling containers or bags to keep specimens, traps, lures, sticky cards, calibrated equipment for knockdown sprays, effective knockdown chemical and instructions, and a sheet to place on the orchard floor, ensuring that the sheets do not blow away with the wind of the spray equipment when these are used. Stink bugs. Stink bugs reside in the orchards during winter and are generally found in the top third of macadamia trees during nut development. There are generally two methods used to scout for stink bugs. One, chemical knockdown and two, live scouting. Chemical knockdown. Knockdown suggests the use of a product that has a quick killing effect on the stink bugs. Select random trees or groups of trees that have not received a knockdown product in the past four weeks. The knockdown data trees should be identified the previous afternoon. Place a plastic sheet or similar type of lining on the orchard floor to facilitate easy collection of dead sucking bug, which includes stink bugs and mosquito bugs, nymphs and adults. The lining should cover at least 80% of the tree drip zone. Anchor the corners of the lining with rocks or pegs to ensure that it's not blown away by the wind when spraying equipment with a fan is used. Do a full cover spray early in the morning with a knockdown chemical before sunrise or when temperatures are still lower than 18 degrees Celsius. Keep the time after the knockdown spray to the collection of the bugs constant so that insect populations can be properly compared between successive weekly monitoring intervals. Generally, one to two hours are recommended as standard operating procedure. Collect all the bugs, immature and mature stages, and differentiate between mosquito bug, coconut bug, short mouth, medium mouth, and long mouth stink bugs and their immature stages. Live scouting. Inspect at least four observation points on random data trees, including the main stem and lower branches, weekly during nut development stage 4 for egg packets of the two-spotted stink bug. Differentiate between parasitized or viable egg packets. Kill viable eggs by hand after recording. Fresh eggs are green to orange and can be parasitized by beneficials. There are usually 14 eggs in the two-spotted stink bug egg packet. Sucking bugs can also be scouted in the orchards, preferably young orchards, by branch shaking and visual observation. 
Shake at least four branches to dislodge stink bugs onto a ground cover. Place a plastic sheet or similar type of lining on the orchard floor to facilitate easy collection of dislodged sucking bugs, which includes stink bugs and mosquito bugs, nymphs and adults. Nut Borers The nut borer complex is a group of moths. Nut borers lay eggs on the nut husks, usually nut development stage C to D, and mostly at 1.5 to 2.5 cm nut in husk diameter. The larvae that hatch from the egg feed a tunnel in the husk. Larval feeding may cause poor embryo or kernel development, resulting in premature nut drop, immature kernel, or kernel damage. Final instars of the nut borer life stage normally drop to the ground to pupate in the organic matter or soil, but pupae have also been seen in or on the husk. Moths emerge from pupae, mate, and lay eggs again. Moth numbers are monitored on a sticker liner inside a delta trap loaded with pheromones that attracts the male moths. The number of nut borer males on the sticky liners are counted from separate traps for different species. Weekly trap inspections give an indication of moth flight peaks, which provides an idea of mating and egg laying. Scouting for nut borer eggs and holes on husks is important. Thrips and other repercussion pests Hot, dry conditions elicit thrips population increases. When the natural enemies are absent, repercussion pests like thrips, aphids and mealybug numbers increase. Negative impacts to look for include raceme damage, nut drop, or the loss of leaf flushes, which in turn might lead to reduced carbohydrate reserves stored in the plants. Monitor thrips especially on new vegetative leaf flushes of 816 and A4 cultivars. Scout for thrips using an A4 black beating sheet, counting the number of larvae and adults after tapping the plant part five times on the sheet. Do this when temperatures are cool. Citrus thrips are the main thrip species on macadamias in South Africa. Macadamia felted coxid The macadamia felted coxid, or MFC, is an exotic pest for which extra care should be taken during monitoring to ensure that this pest is timely identified and controlled. When walking through the orchard during harvest, Keep a sharp lookout for scale insects on the nut in husk on the ground. Also look for MFC on branches and on leaves. Be extra vigilant in and close to 816 and 788 orchards. Incidents are associated with brown leaves on the inside of trees. Also look for dead or dying branches. If this is encountered, inspect the main stem or leaves for adult MFC. Adults tend to cluster on the leaf edge as well as on the leaf midrib. It's important to continuously monitor crawler numbers by wrapping duct tape with the sticky side facing towards the outside around at least four MFC-encrusted branches. Bark beetles Be vigilant for dead or dying branches. Examine the main stem for the incidence of beetle tunnels or expelled sawdust or frass around the bases of the stems. Symptoms are usually more pronounced during autumn and just before the first spring rains.